This is the WC Fronted Manager dashboard without the Memberships option. To get the options for adding membership plans for vendors, you need to add the WooCommerce Memberships for Multi-Vendor Marketplace plugin. Let's look it up. This is the one. We need to install and then activate it. Once this has been installed, we need to refresh the WC Frontend Manager dashboard and the Memberships option will appear. Click on Memberships. We have been redirected to the Manage Memberships page. We'll go to Settings. The first tab is Payment. Here, you need to set up the payment options for your vendors. You can choose on PayPal or bank transfer or both. If you wish to try out a demo transaction, you can check on PayPal sandbox. Add your PayPal email, your bank details if required and payment terms if any. Your payment options have been set up. Go to features to set up features for each membership plan. This is only for setting up plan pricing tables. If you wish to apply further capabilities, then you have to use the WCFM Groups and Stuffs plugin. Now add the features that you wish your subscription plan to have. You can add as many as you wish. You also need to add the other options from style to registration fields, but they will be discussed in a different video. For now, we'll click submit. Settings have been saved. Now we'll go to add new memberships. Provide a name for your membership plan. Add a short description. The subscribe button code is right here. The features that we added earlier have appeared here. You need to fill in those boxes. Go to subscription. You can choose among free membership, one time and recurring subscriptions. If you choose a free membership plan, then subscription type and payment amount will disappear. If you choose the one time subscription type, you need to add the payment amount that the vendors will pay. If you choose the recurring subscription type, you may or may not add a trial billing amount and a trial billing period. Fill in the other details the billing amount per cycle, the billing cycle, the billing cycle count. If you check this box re-attempt on failure, two more attempts will be made if payment fails once. If you do not check this box, attempt will be made only once. Go to approval, check this box if you wish to manually approve each vendor that subscribes to your subscription plan. Go to commission, you have percentage commission and fixed commission. Choose whichever applies to you and add the commission value. You also need to add capability and badges, but they require different plugins and will be discussed in a different video. For now, we'll click submit and your membership option has been successfully saved. Let's go back to your memberships page. Here the membership has been saved. Now let's see what it looks like. This is what the membership plan will look like once it has been set up. The entire process is easy and takes less than 5 minutes to set up. Thank you for your valuable time and we hope you are able to help.